Hi there, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloyTutors.com and in this video we're going to look at condensation polymers. So there's two types of polymers that you need to know uh, for A-level chemistry. Uh, one of them is addition polymerization and the other one is condensation polymerization. Now there's a video that looks into uh, addition polymers, so if you'd like to look at that, if you just click on the link below, uh, and you can, it'll take you straight to that video. But in this case we're going to look at condensation polymers. Now condensation polymers coming uh, three, well, form three different products. So one of them is polyesters, the other one's polyamides, uh, and there's another one as well which is called polypeptides. Now polypeptides are the ones where you form amino, uh, well, you take amino acids uh, and you form proteins as the polymer. So um, if you want to have a look at the polypeptide uh, synthesis, because I'm not going to go through it in this video, then if you just click on the link below uh, and you can have a look at the uh, video that shows you how to make proteins. But we're just going to look at these two primarily, which is polyesters and polyamides. Now, because it's condensation polymers, condensation means the removal of water when we're forming our polymer. So um, that's what we put up there. So all of these reactions here, you will have water as a product, as well as your uh, polymer as well. So we're going to look at some specific examples for each one. We've got two for each type uh, of polymer. So we're going to start with polyesters first. Now, polyester, as the word suggests, contains an ester link. Um, so to make an ester, you need a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. Now, the difference with a polymer with polymerization is you've got to have a dicarboxylic acid and a diol, and that's exactly what we've got here. So this is just a generic example. Um, and actually what happens, because this is condensation uh, polymerization, what happens is when these things join, you have the OH from the carboxylic acid and the H from the uh, diol, uh, and they will actually leave so I'll put that there, and they will actually form H2O as a product. Uh, and likewise, when this actually joins, the reason why you need a di diol and a dicarboxylic acid is you'll need this to break off as well, the hydrogen from here, and the OH from the dicarboxylic acid. So actually, you'll actually form two. So if I square that one off, and this one, when it joins onto other polymers, then this can actually come together and form two types of water, so uh, two molecules of water, sorry. So we're going to look at two specific examples here. So this is the one which is terylene, or PET. Uh, it's an example of a polyester. So you can see that we've got um, this molecule here, and this is called benzene 1,4 dicarboxylic acid. So um, you've got a benzene molecule in the middle, it's on the first, fourth carbon, and it's a dicarboxylic acid, because we've got two carboxylic acid groups. So if we react this with this molecule here, which is ethane, 1, 2, diol. Again, there's our ETH group in the middle, and we've got 1 and 2 carbons. Uh, if we react these two together, we form terylene, which is this molecule here. Um, and likewise, like I said up here, we lose two, for every join we have here, we lose two molecules of water. Two from the actual ester link, which is in the middle here. And you can see there's our ester link. Uh, and uh, also the hydrogen and the OH, when you get further uh, polymerization either side, you lose another molecule there. So that's why we have two H2O. Now, it depends on how long this chain is. This is called the repeat unit. Depends how long or how many of these repeat units we'll have, or depend on how much water we get. But for each one of these, like I say, we always have two. So that's why the N is in the middle there. So that's terylene. And um, the other one is polylactic acid as well. Um, and polylactic acid is uh, made up of this molecule here, which is 2-hydroxypropanoic acid, and that is lactic acid. Uh, and again, we have a number of them. But for this one, slightly different, because we have the same monomer. This is the um, monomer unit that we're going to repeat, whereas all the other ones, we have two different types. But you can see this works because we've got an alcohol on one side, and we've got a carboxylic acid on the other. So this is still classed as a, uh, a polyester, because we have the carboxylic acid and alcohol. And this will join together to form this repeat unit here, but this time because we have a carboxylic acid and an alcohol on the other side, then this will only form one molecule of water uh, instead of the two that's over here. So uh, just to emphasize where these parts come from, uh, you can see that this bit here will come from the carboxylic acid group, which I'll highlight there, and I'll highlight in blue that these bits here, or this bit, actually comes from the alcohol group, which is there, minus your OH and your hydrogens to form the water. Um, so that's your um, uh, polyesters, but you can also form polyamides as well. Uh, polyamides, as you suggest, will form an amide, 
And to make an amide, you need a carboxylic acid and an amine. And you mix them together and you form an amide. Now, again, just like um, uh, polyesters, for polyamides, you need a dicarboxylic acid, which is the same acid group as what you have here, except you're going to react it with a diamine, which is this one over here. Now, we call it a diamine because we've got two amine groups and dicarboxylic acids because we've got two uh, carboxyl groups, which are on the end. So we're going to look at two specific examples. So this one is Kevlar. Kevlar is the bulletproof um, uh, material. It's a lot lighter than steel, uh, but it's um, a lot stronger than steel as well, mainly because of the structure and the way that fibers pack together. Um, it's very, very dense material. So we're going to start with this one here. Now, this one is called uh, benzene 1,4-diamine. We've got our benzene molecule in the middle. Uh, and on the first and fourth carbon, we have two amine groups. That's why we have diamine on there. Um, and this one is called benzene 1,4-dicarboxylic acid. So again, we've got these large, chunky uh, benzene groups in the middle that um, help turn the pack really closely together to form this really dense material. And again, we join them together and we lose water in two places. So we lose the water from uh, the OH and the H from the amine. So one hydrogen from the amine and the OH from the carboxylic acid. Uh, and this will actually form your um, amide link, which is this bit here. This is the bit in the middle. Uh, water is eliminated, eliminated at that point. And also water is eliminated from the OH on the end of this molecule and a hydrogen from the amine over here. So effectively what you're doing is for every one bond of these, so for every reaction of these, you actually generate two lots of water, a bit like over here as well. But obviously it depends on the number of these that you have, will depend on how much water that you produce. And there is a link, but it is important that you need to know that you actually get rid of two lots of water. So when you're drawing these things, make sure that you uh, take into account of the atoms that have actually been removed from the molecule. It is really, really important. So just to highlight where these parts have come from, um, we can see that in our dicarboxylic acid, which is um, this bit here, um, this obviously comes from the dicarboxylic acid, which is that bit, uh, and I'll just highlight that bit on there, so you can see that's where that bit comes from, and then our amine, which we will do in green, is on there, and then on there. So you can see where the parts of this molecule have come from. This is your amide link, this bit in the middle, so you must have that, it's really important. Okay, and the last one is nylon 6-6. Six, six. Um, now, nylon 6-6 six, six is made from this molecule here, which is called 1,6-diaminohexane. Um, so you've got your two amine groups, which are on the end, and there's your hexane in the middle, so six carbons in the middle. Uh, and then this bit over here uh, is called hexane dioic acid. So you can see we've got um, six carbons, one, two, and then four in the middle, with your carboxylic acid groups on the end. Now, it's called 6-6 six, six because we have six carbons in this monomer and six carbons in this one. Uh, you can get other forms of nylon as well, where you have more carbon chains. So, for example, you might get nylon 12. Um, so, um, effectively, it's the same thing as what happens in Kevlar. These two join together. You have your amide uh, link in the middle. Um, and just to show you kind of where these join, um, so if you use the green one for the amine, you can see there's your amine part, which is there. Obviously, this comes from this molecule here. You can see the, the link between the two. And then the other one, which I'll do in blue, is your carboxylic acid group. So again, I'll underline that there. And you can see that this bit comes from the carboxylic acid. And we join them together. There's our amide link. Uh, and again, we kick off two lots of water for the same reason as before. Um, and that's how you make them.